Good morning, this is DCR Troy Community Radio.com. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN for David Denoyer on TCTV. It's time for the mayor's report on this uh, Saturday morning after the grand illumination, and we are all in the holiday spirit for sure now. Tis the season to be jolly. <laughs> and uh, uh, good morning, Clint. Good morning, David. Good morning, all the people that are listening to this show. And isn't it a wonderful time of the year? People are happy, cheerful. I hope everybody's kind to one another. But boy, downtown, boy, it, this is the time of the year. You just love to come downtown, look at the lights. and uh, the, It's festive. You feel that magical spirit in the air down here. And, and Mr. Adams uh, donated the Christmas tree. I always love it because they donate the Christmas tree from their heart to, to give to the city as the first Christmas gift of the season. And, and uh, it's beautiful. Uh, gosh, the building. The, the, the Santa, Santa Claus house on oh. Crowley Plaza. Uh, yeah. Western Ohio Home Builders Association, everything donated all of the time and everything into making it and bringing it. Isn't that what makes Troy Troy? I yes. Mean, people, partners, businesses, they come together and it's just to make things alive in Troy, Ohio. And I say it's a living room of our community and I really truly uh, believe that. We want people to come into downtown and it's a beautiful scene. And thank you to all those people and partners. And I understand there's, you know, some of the landscaping that is being done is donated landscaping. Yeah. So uh, much of it has been donated downtown. So, it's wonderful. Uh, it, it allows us an opportunity to come downtown, do some shopping. We like the small businesses. I want to put a plug in for our downtown uh, small businesses. The, today is small business. That's shop right. all small business Saturday. Oh, uh, we played right into that. Plan. <laughs> that that's a good... And you're right, uh, it's a wonderful time of the year, uh, spirits are high, and I wish everybody a great and safe and enjoyable season with family and friends. And um, but uh, When boy. you think of all the things that just go on in the world, we're lucky that we are living in a place like Troy. Uh, neighbors helping neighbors, and, and the friendliness. Well... You know, we always say, you know, civic pride is citywide. And, Absolutely. And, and we should take pride in some of the things that we have available to all citizens, not just in Troy, but for Miami County and surrounding region. Uh, I know many friends uh, that I have that live uh, outside of our uh, Miami County that come to downtown Troy to not only shop, but they love our restaurants and they love the ambiance of our downtown and some of the historical features of downtown as well, and our treasures like Hainer. Uh, I'll put a plug in for <laughs> Hainer. Hey, when you, if you haven't gone there at Christmas season, you got to go to Hainer. Now, they have their holiday open house on the 5th and 6th. See? And I'll even be singing. You? Are, yes. Hey, I'll be there for that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the Christmas house, uh, the Santa house that is on Proudly Plaza is a new venture. Uh, they're always trying to find new tweaks to make things exciting for the season. And uh, I hope everybody enjoys the opportunities that are here during this, uh, this Christmas uh, holiday season. I love the presents under the tree, although I haven't got close enough to see if my name's on any of the packages. Uh, I, yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's true. But, boy, that, it, lots of different things that tweaks this year from previous years that just enhance things. Yes. And that's what I like about the creativity and the spontaneity of our individuals and donors. Um, we're always trying to do something a little different, but still enhance uh, our downtown and surrounding community. I want to get into that just a little bit further, but first we'll talk about council because I know oh, yes. you're going to be off on council until the 7th. That's seven, December 7th, and there will be agenda. Uh, that's a good plug in at uh, 7 o'clock. It'll be on Monday night. Uh, our first and third is our normal meeting nights and invite people to come. Uh, this past week we did have a committee of the whole met to review uh, next year's budget, which is that time of the year. And our budget looks strong. Uh, we have been very fiscally uh, sound. And our, we have good financial stewardship with our auditor, our administration, our city council, and very prudent. And uh, uh, 
all of our staff members, our directors, all look at their budgets and, and try to be conservative yet, look at what their needs are to move us forward versus what they would just wish to have. And we try to uh, get as much done as we can. And so they looked at the budget. The Finance Committee will be recommending that we approve the budget uh, as uh, we reviewed it. Um, that includes some of the uh, finances that we support, uh, like the Troy Main Street, the Troy Development Council, the REC. You know, there are many things that uh, the city budget will also support because of that, as you said, partnerships that make Troy, Troy. And so all that will be probably brought forward at the December 7th uh, meeting. Um, and uh, the Finance Committee and the Committee of the Whole reviewed that, and uh, the Finance Committee is moving that forward uh, for approval. All right, now it's time for me to put on my pom-poms. We'll <laughs> talk about the America's Best Community Center, which uh, was open last night during the Grand Illumination, yes. open again today. And uh, there's displays on the inside. People can go in and fill out a questionnaire. And Well, we're asking for everybody's input. We think this is a great thing for the city of Troy. Um, Ed Westmeyer and myself are, are the co-chairs of the steering committee for the America's Best Communities uh, uh, Connection uh, Center. And uh, the center is open. It's downtown again. A uh, good opportunity to come in and see some of our businesses, uh, see some of the um, features of Troy that we offer, but also just to show your pride in the community. Uh, we have submitted we are a quarter finalist, which means we're one of 50 communities uh, throughout the country uh, that were selected. The next step is we submitted our uh, um, strategic plan, our vision, our initiatives for the going forward. And uh, they will be uh, a, a select committee, not around here, but outside, look at those 50 communities. Uh, and then they will determine 50, up to 15 communities to be considered for semifinal status. They'll take those com those communities, try to narrow it down into a, a grade eight. And, and, and then from there, we move on to the finals. And hopefully Troy is positioned very well. But I have to tell our citizens and throughout Miami County, you know, it's nice to have those honors. But I want to share with you, we are so committed to our vision for the future of Troy that whether we make semi-status or not, we have all, the steering committee has determined that this is valuable for Troy's future, that we will move forward with our strategic plan. So we hope our, our citizens get behind this, they see the pride that uh, many people see, our, uh, we're doing well economically. Our biggest challenge is the workforce, uh, getting the people to accept the jobs or have people available for the new jobs of the future. So one of our initiatives is to develop that workforce. Uh, and to do that, you have to have, we talked about this, the kinds of amenities that gravitate families, young people into our community uh, to live, work, play, enjoy. Uh, and so that's our target that we're trying to do for our future. And I think it's a very good target to shoot for. Well, I think you're doing it in a way that it's also going to uh, make Troy even more of a destination for more people that live outside of the community with the expansion to Hobart Arena. And something that I saw peeking over the levee the other day out by the Eagles, where I can kind of see over to Treasure Island, I see something new starting to crown up in the air. Oh, yes. The amphitheater is uh, going. The marina is the moving forward. You know, that's going to be a very good venue for us for the future years, yes. and and um, it, it's just another opportunity to reach a certain segment of young people that might want to have as a destination or a residence here in Troy, yeah. which benefits our business and industry, which benefits our downtown. You know, you can see that trickle effect uh, going down the road, and, and to do that, we need to have those kind of... Uh, uh, features, uh, both histor historical, recreational, cultural, educational, all those factors play into 
to bringing in good people into our community that can handle the jobs of the future um, and are here. Uh, and so we're all working together in partnership to make that happen. And uh, a big thank you to the steering committee is working so hard to move us forward as a community. And I see uh, at least uh, some real thinking going in out at Duke Park and some things oh, with, with that project starting too. That's wonderful. You know, a lot, a lot of people think, oh gosh, well, that's a lot, a lot to do all at once. And yes, it is. But think of the, the future, what that's going to look like and what's that going to bring to our community in terms of economic value, uh, impact to, to uh, our small business as well as our larger businesses. Our, uh, recreational activities and yes uh, and it's all inclusive too it's for all ages and all people so I think that's also a very positive thing and it shows the vibrancy of our Troy community and we'll see that growth in 2016 I know I and what we have coming in the future looks very bright it, it does and and uh, again it takes a lot of folks uh, I always say it takes good people doing good things to make great communities and and I see that happening I'm very proud to be a small part of that process all right I'm glad to be a part of that process too and and being uh, perched overhead to get to see it all you happen see it. It a great it studio happen. great overlook studio <laughs> uh, Clint, if I could mention you know, because we've been talking all about the season and all the activities and the excitement that's going along with we still have these leaves that yes. still trickle down <laughs> and I gotta say we're heading into that final round if you don't mind me Clint oh uh, absolutely I can say that starting December 1 we are heading into that third we said we do at least three rounds and then we do it in zones so we move through the city in zones so we're heading into the final round hopefully the snow will stay away the leaves will all fall, and we can all get out and rake them out away from... Away from the curb. Thank you very much. Away from the gutters. Thank you very much. Keep things clear. And why do we do that? It's, for the, it's, it's to keep things moving freely into our storm sewers so they don't clog up, back up, and cause other problems to people. So I will just tell you, everybody, uh, I... Uh, we can get a good day out there, get the leaves moved out, and we're in that final round, uh, which is a great service that we provide in the fall. And then that just makes everything that much more exciting as we move into this Christmas season. Yeah, I've seen some some big piles of leaves that have, that people have been raking up. So yeah, uh, I hope they get the chance to get out there and, and clean it up. We'll look all spiffy going into winter. We sure will. We sure will. <laughs> All right, uh, anything else that you wanted to wrap up with today, Mayor? Well, I, let me just say we're talking about this weekend and on Sunday, uh, November 29th, uh, the Troy Skating Club is having a special uh, holiday uh, exhibition. Uh, it's at uh, 4.30 at the Hobart Arena. I would invite people to come. It's free and cheer on the local skaters, but they're also going to have Harmony on Ice Theater Group. They're from Detroit. They're going to be doing a special presentation just to kick off the season. And uh, I, I really uh, support the uh, Troy Skating Clubs. Uh, they support other activities like Relay for Life. And, and so it's just another way of us showing support for each other. And uh, if you're looking for things to do, I know Hayner's got something going on on Sunday as well. Uh, Jim Riley, I think, is performing a local um, He's a great guy. I've known him a long time. He's a great vocalist. Um, but he, I think, is at the Hainer at 2 o'clock-ish. And then at 4.30, you go to Arena. And it's all, you know, it, it, it's just good time uh, fun. There's so many things to do, to pick and choose from in Troy. Some, sometimes it almost come, becomes problematic. <laughs> <laughs> you have overlaps. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, well, which one do I, oh, well, okay, this year we're going to go to this one. It's always good to have choices. Yes. And, uh, hey, David, I appreciate you as well, and certainly Clint, and wish you, I uh, hope uh, everything went well for Thanksgiving, and certainly it's a good time for us to think of Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving, and we should always be 
remembering the good things that we have that we are blessed to have. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Mayor. Thank you very much. We'll let you uh, get off to some turkey leftovers. There you go. There you go. (laughs) This has been the Mayor's Report with Mayor Michael Beamish. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN for David DeNoyer on TCTV.